Well, the pandemic has certainly kept a majority of people out of movie theaters, and now there's good news for movie fans, but the theaters are going to continue to suffer. Yesterday, Warner Brothers announced they'll be releasing their 2021 lineup of movies online and in theaters at the same time. And now many are wondering, is this the end of the era for theaters? Brandon Simmons joins us now with more on what the future may hold. And Brandon, this is a time-honored tradition. This is definitely something that's a bit of a curveball in this whole <laughs> pandemic. Yeah, no, it's like, how do you talk movies and not go to the actual theater to see them? So, yeah, this was a major bombshell coming from the movie theater industry. This is exactly what they don't want to have happen. And to put it quite simply, this is really just the result of the pandemic. It's taking a, a toll on those theaters. Now, Warner Brothers plans to take its entire 2021 slate and release it on its streaming platform, HBO Max, the same day those movies are showing in theaters. Now, that includes Matrix 4, Dune, Space Jam, A New Legacy, and more than a dozen other films. Now, the catch, they'll only be available online for one month, then they'll continue in theaters only. Now, some say this is the nail in the coffin for theaters that are already struggling to stay afloat. But one local theater owner I spoke to says it's more likely those production companies just want to maximize profits while theaters are limited during the pandemic. I think they made that decision simply because of uh, the backlog of content that they have and, and they have to release it. It's the, the, I guess, best of both worlds for them. Uh, to make as much income as possible off of the inventory they currently have. Now, in a statement yesterday, Warner Media Studio CEO Ann Sarnoff said they have to face the reality that theaters likely will have to operate at reduced capacity through 2021, adding, quote, no one wants films back on the big screen more than we do, end quote. Now, for now, this is just a one-year plan, but obviously its success could affect the industry moving forward. But one thing I do want to point out, there's a reason studios like these big theaters. Early box office profits are huge, sometimes in the billions of dollars. So it's unclear whether streaming options are able to fill that gap just yet, Betsy. Well, Disney kind of paved the way with some of their uh, movies that came out this summer, certainly. But I got to tell you, Brandon, and I think you might agree, even though you're down in your man cave there, which looks pretty spiffy, I'm sure it has a great sound system, <laughs> you cannot replicate a real movie theater experience at home. No, you can't. And we uh, heard that from a lot of people we talked to today who said there's nothing like going to the theater.